Hi, my name is Jessica. I know everyone is wondering why I'm doing my own documentary. You know, it's not that I'm leaving the world or I am going anywhere. Um, the reason I started doing my documentary is because I wanted everyone to understand about Bitter Largo. Even though many has it and are ashamed of it, but I'm not. Because since this has happened to me, I don't let people stress me and worry me about how they feel or how they think about me. And no, I don't wear makeup. I'm natural. Because I thank God for who I am and who God made me to be. And yes, I hold on to my faith and my hope and my trust and belief in God. My kids, they are supportive. So I'm like ENT. And you know, it has been a struggle with it since the Vitilago has, you know, did my skin like this. But now I began to really live with it and I understand it. And it's not so bad, you know, if you really get the understanding of it. And a lot of people I have came around and came in connect with, many have laughed at me, many have called me names, many have said, what happened to your skin? Did you get burned? And I have other people think it's so wicked thoughts, but you know, I feel that this wasn't nothing to harm me in Jeremiah 29 and 11. I look at it as even though many didn't understand, just like I didn't understand what had happened, but I thank God that I'm still here around my kids and my grandkids. And they have been a great support to me with the Vitilago. And as many um, friends that I know has been a great supportive in my church. But with Vitilago, a lot of people don't understand. It is not something that is contagious. No. It's a skin pigment where your melatonin of your black skin breaks down and you begin to turn white. Yes, stress has a great deal to do with it and other things. So, no, I don't have lupus. No, I don't have AIDS. I don't have none of that. So, to put that, that away for everyone that thinks that way. Vitilago has maintained a strength within me that I could have given up, but I choose not to give up because I look at it as not a weakness to me, but I look at it as a strength because it has built my faith up more and it has built me to a point where I don't really worry about how people think and feel about me no more because I'm not here to please the world and I'm not here for the world to, you know, show their ways of how they feel about me. But, you know, I can say this, it started just from one blotch, right here. And as the months and as the years went to pass and on through, this is how it turned. This is my second year with it. And you know, many people, they look at me and they try to figure out how could I live with it, which why it doesn't bother me because as long as I know I'm healthy and I'm okay, hey, I ain't got no problem with it. Only a survivor, a survivor can make it through and I'm a survivor with it. Because I had a man to tell me one time, what happened to you? Why is your skin looking like that? And like I told this young man, I said, you know, I say it's not the outside of me that I be more worried about. I said, as long as my heart is pure and long as my heart is straight, hey, I don't worry about how the outside of me look. Because I wasn't put here to please no one or for no one to feel that, you know, I got to be someone they want me to be. But, you know, with faith holding me strong with it, it's many times that I wanted to give up, but it was just a little voice in my head telling me not to give up. You can make it. You can make it. You can do it. And when I look at my grandkids, you know, that brings a joy within my heart because that gives me something that motivates me day to day. And their love and my kids' love are more important to me and it just gave me a strength where sometimes when I'm weak, I, I get the encouraging, encouraging words from many prayer partners. But it's just to say this in Vida Lago, you are no different from no one else out here in the world. Because there's many people that have Vida Lago and they're ashamed to, you know, let themselves be seen 
or they cover it up to try to hide it. But me, this is me, and I'm going to be natural with it. You know, I can't make a person love me. I can't make a person hate me. But I'm just being natural with it because it's something that needs to be known because everybody just don't look at vitiligo as it's a skin pigment. Other people think different about it. And that's something that, you know, a lot of people need to grow up in their minds with it. Because vitiligo, like I told you before, it starts as a blotch. And as you begin to go through so much strenuous and stressful things, and your body go to fighting against, you know, certain things. And, you know, a lot of people don't really understand it. But when you are going through things in life, sometimes you don't share a lot of things with people. You keep that within you. And that was something that I used to do. I would keep a lot of things within me because I had went through so much hurt, so much pain. You know, a lot of thinking a lot of people was for me when they wasn't for me. And I guess as my body began to relax and steady me, just letting it come up out of me, I guess this is the way how it turned me. But um, I went to a dermatologist and he told me that he didn't want to give me nothing for it. He said because he didn't want it to harm me from within. So he told me to go and do a process with it. So to say this, the process of it is turning this color. But I'm not shame of it. And it's not going to stop me from loving and being who God created and made me to be. You know, it's just something that I just wanted to share with everybody. So, you know, people can understand that vitiligo people we are human we have feelings we we love to be loved and we love to love back we're not no different from no one else and no i'm not a leopard since that's what everybody called it leopard no it's not a leopard so you know it's many people around the world that has it and you know it's many people that is shy of it and shame of it but you know me I look at it, you know, if I see someone that has the same thing that I have, I would greet them and hug them and tell them I love them because I know what they have been through and I know what they're feeling with it because I have been through it. But, you know, when you've been blessed by God, grace and mercy, there's nothing and no one can harm you or do nothing to you. And, you know, like I said before, the reason I've done this documentary is so... Because I want people to understand, stop looking at the outer part of a person and look at within their heart. That is the only way that you're going to get to know a person. And you don't know who that person could be really be in the eyes of God. And they could be a blessing as far as you can look at it. So don't let them look to you of how that person is. And yes, this is just about the end of my documentary. I might make another one soon. I don't know when, but you know... Just to say happy holidays to everyone, you know, Merry Christmas, and I wish y'all a happy New Year's. So if you know anyone that has been a lot of and need that love and support, please support them and show them that you care. We're no different from you.